Yesterday we had um, um, an event around um, getting climate finance down to the local level for local action. Um, and we had um, uh, Pete Betts as the chair, so he's the, um, uh, the director of climate and energy for the UK. Um, and uh, um, Gebru, who is the incoming um, LDC chair, for um, the, the incoming LDC chair for the LDC group of negotiators. Um, and um, and they, they kicked the event off and then we had speakers from um, Tanzania speaking about the approach in Tanzania, Mali, Senegal and Kenya. Um, and we had the, um, uh, the um, International Federation Red Cross speaking about um, uh, forecast-based finance. Um, and the, um, the objective of the event was really to, to demonstrate um, approaches that are getting finance out the door, down to where it's needed, and um, you know, th these are mechanisms that work and are transformational. Um, and really the objective was to share it with other countries and encourage them to start to look at, um, at using these types of mechanisms. Both our, our chair and our opening speaker, both the UK government and um, uh, Gebru representing the LDC group, um, we're, we're really excited about these mechanisms as one that are, um, have, have real potential for the climate finance of the future. Um, and Gebru was, was encouraging the Red Cross and IID to work together to pull the two mechanisms together because they're very complementary. So that was, that was a, a wonderful outcome. The, the approach that, that we're taking with the devolved climate finance is to work with um, the governments at the national level, at the local government level, on the mechanisms. The, 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 um, if you like, the, the piping internally for the government about how to get climate finance from uh, the global level down through the national level to local governments. And the, 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 this plumbing is really important. Once, once you can get it right, then you can have confidence that the finance is reaching where you expect. But at the um, local government level, we've also been working with them uh, um, in a process of developing the uh, uh, developing their institutions to be able to engage with local communities and um, bring local communities plans together and bring that into their, um, their local government planning process. And, the, and um, this, this approach by building the institutions themselves means that even after the project finance is finished they have, they have an approach that they can continue to use. The other aspect of this that's really exciting is that because we're working so closely with the governments and they're really understanding what we're trying to achieve, they've started to use their own development finance um, in the, in the uh, investments the communities are prioritising. So we're using small amounts of climate finance at the local level and beginning to leverage in the, um, the domestic public finance that's available for development. So it, you, you're beginning to get climate positive development investments happening. The um, approach that we're taking um, is, is very much about um, increasing the transparency and the accountability of the climate finance. Um, so the, the plumbing, if you like, that we're, we're creating um, gives a great sense of um, uh, expectation in the communities. So the, 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 uh, at the ward level, they're all informed before the process starts how much finance, how much climate finance is going to come to them. And, um, and so that they can plan around that. And through the process, it, it's, um, in, in the development world, they've been talking about these sort of social audits where you, where you are transparent about the budget, transparent about where the initiatives, um, what the investments are going to be, and then communities can provide feedback. And that's absolutely at the central center of this model. Also in, in um, Tanzania and uh, Mali, we've joined up with UNCDF who are looking at um, the, the, uh, the technical details of the budgeting process so that the, um, the government of Tanzania and the government of Mali are actually also reforming and improving their budgeting process so that it's easier for this climate finance to flow down to the local level and be accounted for. Um, the, the, other, sorry, the other thought I have on um, why there's so much interest on the tracking is because um, there's so much concern by the least developed countries that they're not getting their fair share of climate finance. Um, and this, this mechanism, by getting the finance down to local governments and out to communities in this very transparent way, um, 
uh, it, it really demonstrates that you can get climate finance flowing and you can get it down to the place where people need it most. We've been working in, uh, with the Kenyan government, um, Tanzanian government, Malian and Senegal and um, the, the approach that we've taken to date has been with some support from the UK government of building the, um, building the uh, model, if you like, the approach at the local level that gives um, communities voice and allows them to prioritise the investments and all of this plumbing. We're, we're, we're still um, improving that approach but at the same time we're working with these governments on applying to the Green Climate Fund so they can access the global finance and, and use the same approach and a much more scaled up, in, you know, extending the, um, the work into further counties, into further districts. Um, we're also hoping to um, work with other governments and there are a few governments that are showing interest in this approach and we're hoping that we'll be able to find donors to support um, the piloting processes there too.